Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with my ET4 mod where we got a filament guide down near the extruder. This is one of my earlier versions, and these are just not spinning as well as I wanted. And one of the reasons is because I initially designed them to print flat. So when you print them vertically, even though I have supports, it's just not the same quality. So I have started a new project where we've got this printing flat and then this prints up and does not need any supports because of the angles that are in place and then it slides into what we're going to call v9 of our design so it's going to be modular based uh, right now it's going to have this first print on one printer i'm going to print this on a second printer and then i've got a new way to attach the cap that's going to be printing on the third printer so i'll be able to get this printed and tested and show you what it looks like in just a few minutes all right, first things first, I'm going to take one of these over to the ET4X. And I'm going to make it the little cap because it'll be the fastest. Notice when it comes in, it does not need any supports. It's going to be just fine like that. Double check the settings quick. Extra fast is what I use. 20, cubic, 210, 50. Those are all dandy and it's going to have skirts. So I'll save that to the removable disc and I'll take it over and start it on that printer. This computer is attached to my A10M. So I'm actually going to print the second part right on this one directly without moving it to the SD card. Quickly go to my 3D modeling folder and let's track down the bearing. We'll print it on this one. Settings are good, 0.3, 10 cubic, 60, skirt, print via USB, and we'll get it started right now. And then I've got a second computer that I'll fire up, and that's where we'll print the last piece. So probably in about a half hour, I'll have a part I can show you. Alrighty, there we got the base printing, and you can see I forgot to peel off the skirt from the last time I printed a base. But so far, so good, no issues. And over here we got the A10M, and it is printing the bearing. And here it is on the second ET4X, printing as well. So my friends, in about a half an hour, we should have a part we can test out. Alrighty friends, let's collect some parts. There's the base with the double skirt because i'm silly like that i uh, did the new pegs so there's more pegs so that'll be easier and i'll just clip those out in a second and then i'll use the same technique to clip out the little supports that i added those are just so the little parts are a little bit stronger and you got a little bit cleaner print Alrighty, friends here we are on the a10m i have got my bed too high so the adhesion i get on this is just insane all right, friends, so after picking it up off the floor, we have got a bearing that rolls pretty darn decent uh, right from the get-go. And, of course, the more you use it, the better it'll work, and then it's going to slide in. Let's go check our last part. And this one was on the ET4X, so we've got two ET4X prints. This one I've got dialed in pretty sweet for adhesion, and time to go give it a test. All right, so this had the old version on it. We'll pop it off real quick. That's one of the cool things is that it just slides off. This little cap had the peg and it comes out. We can set those aside. And now we've got our modular one where this piece simply slides in to that groove. And the first time it's probably gonna be pretty snug, but that's actually pretty reasonable. And then it'll snap in and it gives us that part but now it's two pieces, and I'm also going to print one real quick that has a peg so you can attach a real bearing if you prefer. So then this simply slides over this one, and then it slides into this bar here to lock it so that it cannot move. Boom. Snapped in place. Filament comes behind. And let's attach our little adapter. This simply slides onto this groove right here. just like that holy mackerel it is rare that on the first try we get that kind of success and now you can see it comes down and it feeds that filament right around that bearing and right into the extruder just like you'd want 
Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Another sweet design made with Tinkercad for the ET4 and ET4X. Uh, if somebody would double check and see if it worked for the ET5, that would be wicked cool. And of course, friends, I will put a link to this in the description so you can find it on Thingiverse. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.